Graft has two idea sheets used for making cell models, one for plant cells and one for animal cells. Both models are very, very good for teaching cell biology and the fundamental processes of life. Uh, but the overall goal of them is to help, help students understand and have an appreciation for overall cell function. Some of the materials used for either cell model include foam, chenille stems, straws, various types of fabric, and for the cell membrane and cell wall of either cell, you can have CD cases or DVD cases. Marbles can be used for the nucleus, and cardboard can be used for various parts of the cell, such as where we've used in plant cell for the cell wall. You're also going to need some scissors for manipulating the foam and the cardboard. The nice thing about this particular activity is that the materials can vary. For example, in this plant cell model, I've used styrofoam as the base. But we can also glue, th glue uh, the parts that we make out of the various pieces down to CD cases or, or uh, DVD cases as the background or base of the cell. Uh, some example of how I treated the material here, I've trimmed some foam to represent the vacuole and also the endoplasmic reticulum. I used another type of foam. This part right here is a, is a piece of fabric that I've rolled up to represent a different part of the cell. So there, the variation is okay and in fact having various materials encourages students to think creatively and explain away why they chose a certain material for a part of the cell. In the animal cell, to represent the nucleolus of the, of the cell nucleus, I decided to use a marble just because it was round and typically under a microscope they look round. But I encourage students to always use a variety of materials. You can even use macaroni or dried kidney beans as parts.